sei que foi nessa altura.
sana kalau di Inggris itu jempol bahasa bahasa Sunda. So apa ni apa tu? Ini tu aku suka betul. So good afternoon, everyone. I will take this opportunity to take pride in having a distinguished guest, Bona Speaker. It's a very good privilege to have you with us on this auspicious day. And we welcome you formally to Mama Lucy. Mama Lucy is the first time. Lucy has a big name to it, and it's a big name to it. But just to kick start the process, I request one of us to do a short word of prayer, and then we proceed. Okay, let us bow down and pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for you starting with us in the morning. And right now, Father, as we start our meeting, we thank you for our guests. We thank you that you have been with them, uh, that you have been with them throughout their travel to this uh, place. We feel privileged because we know it is your blessing. Father, we ask you that you be with us as we deliberate, as we chart the way forward. You be with us, give us the wisdom. And even as they leave, we pray that you be with them so that they reach safely wherever they are going. We thank you for everything and we give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, uh, just to bring our visitor uh, and the rest of the team up to speak, Mama uh, Lucy is a very <coughs> hospital uh, which started in the year 2011 and it offers varied services to the local public. Basically, the, like the referral center mm -hmm. for much of Eastlands, mm -hmm. extending uh, its tentacles in terms of services to even the like Machakos, Mountain, mm -hmm. and uh, Tiambe. So it serves a very good population, mm -hmm. and uh, most of the patients here are mm -hmm. needy, mm -hmm. but uh, still able to afford some of the services we provide. Uh, we see uh, quite a number of patients. Uh, on a monthly basis, we see around 90,000 patients. Uh, and uh, about uh, 2,000 uh, patients uh, every month. So that's quite a uh, large number uh, with the facilities that we have. And as I said, we offer a lot of services, uh, including uh, maternity, which I think uh, today will be uh, in the center of focus. Eh? Yeah. And we'll get a chance to. Get to uh, Talk to one, uh, a few of the mothers here and the patients and the babies. So today is an official special occasion for the women. And uh, we'd like at least, we're even happy that uh, you chose Mama Lucy <laughs> specifically to, uh, to come and uh, commemorate this uh, day with, uh, with the family here. So um, we see a lot of mothers. In fact, uh, Mama Lucy has the highest. Uh, um, uh, patient attendance in, uh, in terms of maternity. Com only comparable to Kumwani. Much more than in Kenyatta Hospital. Mm -hmm. So in terms of workload, we see a workload that is uh, uh, comparable to any of the big hospitals, and public hospitals. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we conduct about uh, a thousand deliveries per month. Okay, so there is a lot of work that goes on. Yes, uh, so we are privileged to have you around here, and uh, we hope uh, the mothers will also appreciate your coming. Thank you. Uh, then the other thing is, uh, Mama Lucy, in as much as we have uh, so many challenges, and I'm not going to brag so much, <laughs> uh, it, 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 it has managed to, to be number one uh, out of all the county public uh, health facilities. Mm for the last three years running. Yes, so uh, we take a lot of pride in, uh, in the what the staffs are doing. Uh, we really appreciate them. It's also good to know that so that uh, you know when you're here, 
the public is also in safe hands. Uh, we, we, we didn't achieve that by default it's through sheer hard work. Yes. And uh, I hope uh, in, the, in the course of the interaction with the, with the, with the patients, uh, there are a few that uh, probably who might warrant your particular attention, mm -hmm. if you so wish, <laughs> so that uh, if, you, if you wish to help them, uh, they will very much glad to Yes, I think we'll discuss the details uh, later. Yes. Otherwise, uh, without that, I'll also invite uh, one of our board uh, members, uh, Madam Queen, to say a word or two. She's part of the hospital. And uh, maybe you could say a word or two to the staff. And thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to our facility. We are very much happy and we really appreciate for taking your time to be with us today. And I also thank you all the visitors who have accompanied me to our, to our facility. My name is Akwin Mungangi, one of the board members. First is to give apology to our chair, uh, the, Honorable, the former mayor, Joe Akech. He is our chairman. He was head of summer, he's not with us. So, to see this apologies. Yeah, I knew you before. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I've ever interacted with you, it's only that it, so many people know you, but as we know you more. <laughs> I'm too my guy. There's a time I was interacting with you when you were vying for the CMD. <laughs> So I'm the one who assisted Kalem Bendira in my room. Kalem Bendira and I'm like, Mom Queen, have you talked to all the ladies? I'm telling you, you have finished that work. <laughs> and I thank God you managed to go to the CMB and then from there to the speaker. Mm -hmm. So that is it at Panafi Hotel. Yes, yes, I remember. Do you remember? <laughs> Sometimes back there. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy and glad to be with you again today here to celebrate with the other mothers and the women in the hospital. Most welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Asante. Um, yes. The doctor told me that he kindly follow the protocols. Yeah. And so he's only allowing women into the maternity ward from our team. Only women. <laughs> Once we get there, the boss will present this gift to a mother who has twins. Yeah. When he presents, a nurse will take over and maybe just cover the baby with the baby show for photo purposes. We shall be out of it. We can only be around there. You know that we have perfumes. So we will not interact with the babies and the mothers in close contact. So once we go to the world, it is only women from our side that are going in with the boys and then two bodyguards. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. and uh, Madam Mungangi. Uh, it is also my pleasure to at least visit for the first time this first uh, facility. And uh, sorry, and, um, it's you know it's one of those things, one of those facilities that um, you know many of us uh, have just read and seen uh, on television and or in the media. And, um, print media. But um, I think it's only fair that uh, I also indicate that uh, I've spoken to the chair. The chair, mm -hmm. the chair is an old friend and an old colleague, uh, yeah. Joe Akech. Yeah. Um, he was excited, very excited when I told him that I have chosen to come and uh, visit with you here at this uh, facility. Uh, thank you and thank uh, the professional administration as well. And more importantly, the staff. Yeah. Uh, what the Gary has uh, said has, has been achieved by this hospital, I'm sure. It would not have been uh, achieved without um, the ded dedicated uh, you know, services that uh, you offer to the patients. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. It is you, indeed, you should be proud of when you say, Mamadou say, 
hospital is, has achieved this, it really must be you who have made it uh, possible. I also thank the NMS who are the facilitators. Yeah. They must, without their facilitation, that um, achievement, those achievements will also not have been possible. Yeah. And therefore, we really want to thank uh, all that have been in, in, involved, including the board, yeah. uh, to ensure that uh, the hospital maintains uh, that uh, a good service delivery. For me, healthcare delivery services is, um, is something that is very close to my heart. Mm. And uh, everywhere I go, it is one of those that, that, that I really talk about how I wish we could go. Starting from everybody be able to go to any of our public facilities and uh, get attended to and work out. Yeah. 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 And I think you may not appreciate but in, in your own time, in your own ways, what you do helps us to show that it is possible. It is doable here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So really, we have my great, greatest appreciation and congratulations and thank you very much for what you continue to do to the people of this Republic. Thank you. but also our country. To be able to say congratulations to them, to all, to all mothers, and uh, encourage them to look at uh, the young ones. And just before I, I end, I would also want to really appreciate uh, uh, what has been said by many Kenyans who watch with dismay the very, very disturbing um, and scandalous episode that happened to a lady, a young lady, along uh, Professor Wangari Madai wrote yesterday and wish to condemn in the strongest terms possible and call upon uh, the men folk to just reflect on what they did yesterday. It is shameful. Who, if it was a man, would he have been uh, treated in the way that they treated that lady? We cannot, we cannot encourage such a behavior. It just shows that uh, we have, our moral values have gone so low and uh, we really must uh, tell the men, all of the men, to wake up. That is just that we cannot uh, condone this. It doesn't matter what anybody may have done, there is law and order in this country. If anybody has uh, done anything that is uh, uh, you know, 
a transgression on the law is a new process. And therefore, what happened, what was done to that lady must be condemned by all peace loving Kenyans and all men of moral char good character. Well, this is why I'm calling on uh, all everybody to really appreciate that if we if we truly believe in what we gave ourselves in the constitution, we must allow. And it's just a more this this call for today, breaking the bias, it should uh, prick the conscience of all men that we cannot leave it is we cannot leave anybody behind. We must carry everybody along. And it is this bias that we must do away with. So even as we end the elections, I call upon the, our mothers or sisters and daughters to come forward and offer themselves for elective office. And that any 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 group of men that is seen to be violating their rights should be dealt with by, by, by those who uh, have to implement the, the law, like the IEBC, the NCIC, we must allow the women to run the office and let everybody have a bite of the chair.